Putting tags on whales is both exciting and difficult. The method we used to attach tags to whales was pioneered by Dr. Bruce Mate here at OSU and was developed over several decades. We obtained special permission from the federal government to approach whales closer than 100 meters and to attach our tags. This involves an extensive permitting process that has to be reviewed every five years to ensure that it meets the best practices to minimize any impacts on the whales. Tags are deployed using an air-powered applicator. An orange deployment tube holds the tag in the applicator. Once the tag is attached, the orange tube is released and floats to the surface for recovery. We assess a whale's body condition and behavior from a distance before deciding if we want to attempt tagging it. We then approach carefully from behind and to the side. The tagger has the best view and helps direct the boat driver using a headset radio. The tags can't transmit to the satellite through water, so we try to attach them high on the whale's back so that they always come out of the water when the whale surfaces. At the same time, we also collect a small skin and blubber sample using a crossbow to determine the sex, genetic relatedness, and population identity of tagged individuals. We also collect photos of each animal for identification purposes using their distinct markings. Once a tag is attached, we record the time, location, and a variety of information about the placement of the tag on the whale to help with future monitoring efforts. What happens next? After the field work is done, we go back to the lab and continue monitoring each tagged whale for weeks and months through the information relayed to us by the Argus service until the tag eventually falls out.